What's up everybody, Gundam Flexing here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the just completed Moderoid RK92 Savage. This is from the Good Smell Company and this specific mecha can be found in the show Full Metal Panic. This item came out in December of 2018 and the average price is around $20, but I'm going to link down my Amazon affiliates link down in the description below and you can find it for roughly around $15 at the time of this video. Now the good part about this specific kit is that it is very minimal in stickers and the limbs are very stiff in a good way and you do have a variety of weapons and a little bit of hands. Um, the down part is the pieces, some of them are incredibly small so once you lose it, you're done. Also the stickers um, are also small as well and it may be a little bit difficult to put on but overall the item is pretty cool it comes in a nice box the instruction pamphlet is easy this is my first build from good smile company something like a gun plug so before we go into the model you see in front of you we're going to go over everything you don't see and coming right up is the short range weapons so this item has two short range weapons and one long range weapon the range weapon is currently on the model and that is a rifle and the two melee weapons here is essentially a hammer and a bigger hammer. Uh, well, I can tell you that these pieces are simple. Um, I think this is total in, for this piece is like three pieces total, slap them all together. And for this one, the much bigger one, like a Donkey Kong hammer or something, it also has a spike at the end. And this too is also only like three pieces as well. And the spike is actually pretty sharp too. And you also have a pair of hands and they are open hands. Well, at least one is the open hand and the other one is on the end of the rifle. And this one is a trigger hand while the other trigger hand is on the rifle. So all in all, you have four hands, an open hand and a trigger hand for the both left and right. And it's important to note here that the melee weapons simply slide in. So while that may be ideal in certain poses, you can't really have him hold the hammer at a height like this, almost straight up and down. So you'll see a lot of the images on like the box art or online. He's really holding the weapon like this or canted like that because again, there is unless if you have it in the center, but even then the weapon may be too heavy where it could slide down. Um, so just be aware of that. The hands aren't very well for holding the melee weapons. And if you're just interested, since this hand did fall apart, this is what it looks like. Just two pieces like that. Typical, just like a gun blow. Now for the sticker sheet, Here's the tin foil, and as you can probably guess, you get two pairs, and uh, they're for the eyes. Now these stickers, if you wanted to, yeah, you could go ahead and use them, but the mm, the outline of the eyes where you place it on, it's not uh, very, in, uh, just doesn't fit very well um, for the eyes. I could tell you that. It may look a little uneven and if that's something that might frustrate you, you may go ahead and just paint it. And here is one runner. Now the runner may look empty, but when I was talking about the small pieces here, Good Smile did anticipate just in case you lose the, you have two little pieces right here and they're pretty much just a little bit bigger than like pencil tips. And these are essentially on the side of his cheeks. They're like, I guess they're also weapon systems. Um, might be like barrels for a, like a very small caliber weapon. But the point is they're incredibly small and good smell. Just like the stickers give you a pair just in case you lose the first one because it is incredibly easy to lose these things, especially if you're not careful popping them out of the runner. That's one. And the second runner and the last runner with all the extra pieces, it's just a pair of bottom feet and they go on the bottom of his feet. So currently the one he has on now is dark gray and this one is just light gray, like gunmetal gray. And that's it. But yes, be in my, just be aware that the hands and 
the melee weapon, you can't really hold it perpendicular to the ground. You have to hold it more like parallel, holding it like this. And that is um, something that sort of sucks, to be honest with you. But here is the RK92 Savage Gray. It's like gun gray, gray metal. Um, if you go online, you could also find the uh, desert color, and I think they're pretty much, if not the exact same, minus the color scheme. So this is the head, and as you can tell, he has no collar, so he is able to go all the way around. His head, if you pop it off, sort of looks like a UFO. And here in his cheeks, these are where the very tiny, tiny pieces go in. And uh, don't get me wrong, it's easy to put in, it is hard to lose. And the eyes, if I could get that right, you can sort of tell it won't cover all of his eyes, they're the entire portion, but um, yeah, so you have the option to use the stickers. I read online some people just went with um, just simply painting it. And this is his chest, like a egg, pretty much like that. You also have a ton of holes on the sides, like on top of his shoulders, on his back. And we'll go over that really soon. It's basically for the weapon system. So the two melee weapons, don't go anywhere on his body. I mean, if you wanted to be funny, yeah, you could put it in here, but it won't even fit. So they're gonna to have to be tucked away somewhere else, uh, which is unfortunate because there is no like belt or anything like that to hold it for him. But it is available for his rifle. But yes, this is his rifle. It's essentially only a couple pieces. The buttstock is collapsible, which is pretty cool. And unfortunately, the magazine clip is not a separate piece. So that sucks. But it's all good though, because on this side, and only on one side only, you have this little pillar here, and that's where you could put his uh, range weapons. All over where the hole is presented on the body. Like that. This, you can even put it on his shoulders if you wanted to, or on the side of his legs. Like that. It, uh, yeah. So <laughs> it is pretty cool. Even has it on the side of his elbows. Like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. Now his arms, nothing too spectacular about his arms. His shoulders do have like a small little skirt coming out. Just the small little details. And like I mentioned, his limbs are really stiff, at least in the beginning. So he does hold things very well. Um, so he held his rifle with no issues, but unfortunately, if we look for that missing piece in his hand, because his hand just fell apart, um, you'll see that when put the weapon in here, try to have him hold it like this, it just won't hold it in place because it's not that tight. Like that, something like that, I don't know. Something like that. Yep, there you go. And unlike a Gunpla, he does not have a skirt, but his legs are pretty much similar, right? His feet are a little bit small for balancing, but it's not too big of an issue because he's so stiff that he won't be able to fall over as easily. And as we mentioned before, the bottom of his feet is uh, interchangeable to either dark gray or the um, lighter gray color. And if we look at the instruction pamphlets, it is in colors, which is pretty helpful. So using this as an example, this instruction starts off with the head and then it concludes with the body and the bottom waist. So the bottom waist, like this, like that. What I'm trying to say is really there is no mobility issues for this guy, even around his legs. He even has like a small cover coming out of here. His legs and everything, no mobility issues whatsoever. And if we go back to the instruction pamphlet, uh, it's pretty easy. You can save yourself a lot of time because um, the darker pieces are all pieces that is underneath that are underneath his armor. So when you cut them out, you don't have to really worry about cutting off the numb marks or fixing any of the issues. You do have to pay attention to the lighter gray pieces, the pieces on the outside. And even if you do, do uh, mess up a little and add a little stress mark here and there, there's nothing that a good hobby knife and a dark gunpla marker could hide. So, something to keep in mind. 
And again, same way through all the instructions. Such, such, oh, and this is a good one right here. It shows you where all the holes are on his body so you're able to mount his rifle. And again, it's unfortunate you really can't mount the melee weapons. And like I said before, the melee weapons are like only three pieces together. And this is the total run up on the runners, A, B, C, and D. And we can see the sticker sheet as well. Such. And even the box is pretty cool. Going over that really quickly. Uh, it doesn't open from the top down like a typical Gunpla box. It actually opens like that, which I thought was pretty interesting. And there it is for the inside. And uh, yeah, the, even the box art seems pretty nice. Here is basically the run up. So like I said, um, you're able to hold it more like a little more parallel to the ground. I'm unable to have the weapon, uh, have the melee weapon be held like this without the hammer falling all the way through. Um, you'll notice that he's holding it in the center and that's where the thickest part of the uh, handle is. But even when I try to do that, the hammer is a little bit loose. So, and because he has good mobility everywhere and his limbs are pretty stiff, he's easy to pose. So you're able to create that pose where he's on his knees shooting from a knee position very easily. So altogether, three weapon systems, one range, two melee, uh, minimal stickers. Uh, you may want to keep out, keep a lookout for the eyes if you wanted to paint that. Uh, and unfortunately, his melee weapons may slip through his hands a little bit too easily. But again, this is $15, came out in December 2018. You can't go wrong with this. And I will also link the Amazon affiliate link for those of you who are interested in purchasing it. And that's all I have to say about this specific model. I haven't gotten to um, the sand color one, the desert camo, but I suspect they're almost the exact same thing. If you have any questions or comments, please post it down in the section below. As always, I appreciate you all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.